my God. Like, is that what that means? Yes. They were like, you know. Pick me. Girls who were like, choose me. pick me, choose me. And I'm like, uh, do you, uh, hello? Do you know who invented the pick me girl? So pick me, choose me, love me. That's Listen, I, I don't know if you remember that I fought that speech so hard. Yes. That's another like really interesting thing about life is some things that I was like so against. I can't beg a man on TV. Uh, this I is know. so embarrassing. It's so hard, right? And then it turns out to be like one of the most successful scenes or the most famous it was scenes beautiful. ever. Ellen Pompeo spilling that behind the scenes tea on one of Grey's Anatomy's most iconic lines. So pick me, choose me. Love me. She made the confession on Variety's Actors on Actors, where she also revealed how soon fans could see Dr. Meredith Grey back on TV's most watched medical drama. I will be making some appearances, hopefully next year. Um, okay, so we don't I can have to find completely some time. say goodbye. No, it's not a complete. Okay. It's not a complete goodbye. Um, and I and I think we've got an interesting story to tell. Ellen's spectacular, and I think she deserves a little bit of creative time that's different from what she's been doing. She's been doing this job. I mean, nobody expected the show to go this many seasons. We're entering the 20th season. So she deserves the break. And so if she wants to come back, she comes back. You spent your entire adult life in one place, and that makes it hard to leave. I think it's OK for Meredith to stop making bad decisions. Somehow Meredith can't figure out how to make a relationship work still mm -hmm. after all this time. Felt so happy to be able to step away yeah. and felt like I accomplished something incredible. I don't want to abandon them. Ellen sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with her former Grey's co-star, Katherine Heigl, for a reunion 13 years in the making. This time 13 years ago and it just brings back so many incredible memories. It's the first time the two actresses have spoken publicly about Catherine's controversial exit from the hit show. The success of Grey's hit, and I felt, I think it was borrowed confidence. I was so naive. I got on my soapbox and I had some things to say, and I felt really passionate about this stuff. Seriously? There were certain boundaries and things that I was not okay with being crossed. If you cannot stand up for yourself in this industry, very few people will stand up for you. Catherine came under fire after she bowed out of the Emmy contention in 2008. At the time, the actress cited a lack of character development and what she called unfair on-set working conditions as her reasoning behind the move. Our first day back was Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it was, I'm gonna keep saying this because I hope it embarrasses them, a 17-hour day. Which really? I think is cruel and mean. Nobody likes a confident <laughs> woman because that makes them nervous. Catherine later asked to be let out of her contract in early 2010 to pursue a film career. You have to fight and you have to be brave. And if it all goes away because you fought and you were brave, then it all goes away. You were just a little early <laughs> because they came out with this thing where everybody's got a, their own box mm. and their own megaphone and they get a blue check. Yeah. It's called Twitter. <laughs> 